How you doing everybody? My name is JPSS, and yes, it is finally here. Welcome to the Infinite Warfare, you can call it the beta or the actual game overview, gameplay, and review. Uh, Infinite Warfare is coming out in a couple days, and I wanted to give you guys this review so that I can help you guys determine whether it's worthy for you to buy it. I'm going to go through all of the things as quickly as possible, and at the end, I'm going to have enough time to explain myself in more detail, just so we can get through all of the stuff we need to get through as quickly and easily and as painlessly as we possibly can. So without further ado, let's get into this. So what I did was I broke up Infinite Warfare into two categories. I broke it up into stuff that is actually good about the game and then stuff that is annoying and stupid, okay? Infinite Warfare is a really good game. No, it's not like a game that you need to go buy for $50, $60 good. It is more of like you go to a yard sale and pay 10 bucks to go get it. Um, they, I would say this is the biggest paste and copy. This is pretty much paste and copy simulator 2017. If Ghost and Black Ops 3 had a love child, this would be it. The guns, I will give it this, the guns and the gameplay is good. I would say the guns are very interesting to use, and the format and everything is very similar to Black Ops 3. Um, the way that they did the guns, you can either earn the guns through supply drops or actually earn the guns by working hard and earning scrap. Nobody really understands how to earn this thing called scrap. I mean, pretty sure you can Google the damn thing, but I don't freaking understand it. All of the guns that you'll ever get in the supply drop will end up here on this list, and it's easier for you to earn them yourself or just pretty much open supply drops, like I said. Very simple, very straightforward, kind of copy and paste, but not really. So now we're going to get into the thing that makes this game. It is the hit markers. The hit markers, they did a fantastic fantastic job. I don't know what they did over at friggin' Infinity Ward. They finally got hit markers right. They finally nailed the hit markers, okay? Just look on how clean this is. And the two things about this game that are huge are sniping and hit markers, okay? And some of you may be saying, JP, yo, what are you talking about hit sniping and hit markers, boy? Well, sniping is crucial because without good hit markers, you can't snipe. And without good hit markers, you can't hit stuff like this. Mm, nasty. Now, I'm not saying that good hit markers are going to happen all the time. Sometimes you're going to get weird stuff like this. Yeah. But I would have to say, besides the hit markers and sniping, there's another good feature back at it again, which is gun game. They did a great job with gun game. Some of you... I've seen a couple of other YouTubers say that the gun game is confusing and frustrating because you have no idea what kind of guns you're going to be using and no idea what you're doing. I'm pretty sure it only takes about one or two, three, like, tries at gun game to actually figure out what guns you're using, so it's not that much of a rocket science. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, and knifing, one-hit knifing is back, thank God. I'm telling you, it is amazing. It is fantastic to have that back. Okay, next we're going to be getting into the specialists now, or you can call them combat rigs, or whatever you want to call them. Some of them are pretty stupid like this, but I would say some of them kind of remind me of Black Ops 3. I don't know, you be the judge. And this specialist looks like a proton pack that he stole from Peter Venkman. And don't even get me started on the score streaks in this game. This one is called the Thor. It's supposed to be like one of the strongest in the game. And it's the most frustrating. I know it's supposed to emulate the AC-130, but it feels like I require a, a couple extra brain cells just to shoot people, especially when they're inside buildings. I use all my missiles on just one guy. I don't get it. Waste of time. So I know we covered a lot of nonsense in the past three minutes, but I'm going to break it down for you in a couple easy steps. Good stuff. Definitely hit markers, sniping, and gun game, and the other stuff that they implemented in the game. It's just a regular Call of Duty. If you like Black Ops 3, you'll like this game. If you are okay with Ghost, you'll like this game, okay? That's pretty much the basics of it. And if you're into the whole futuristic stuff with the specialists and uh, participation trophies, this is the game for you, okay? But if you're not into all that stuff and you want a boots on the ground and you want more classical stuff with better score streaks and more chaos, this, this is not going to be the game for you. This is not going to be something that you're going to want to pick up at the end of a school day to play. This is not something you will be entertained by at all. This is definitely more of something quick and painless for you to enjoy really quick. Not worth $60, not worth the expansion pack. I really wouldn't even give them my money just to play the Modern Warfare Remastered 
game at all. Not even worth my money. I would rather wait for them to release it separately as a game than to spend my money on this crap. Not saying that it's a bad game. If you enjoy what you see here, if you enjoy this kind of game, you will enjoy this. It is a very fun game for people to enjoy really quickly. Not Definitely not worth 60 bucks. So, to conclude, my biased opinion... We're getting to the rating scale. My, I'm going to give you my biased opinion because I'm not into this whole business with this jumping and specialist and participation trophy crap. My personal opinion, my biased opinion, I would give this a 6 out of 10. This is not really something that I would enjoy, nor will it be something that is worth $60 whatsoever. The guns are good, the gameplay's fun, something to enjoy every once in a while, not something I would pay lots of money for. My unbiased opinion as a game as a whole without, you know, interfering with past games, whatever. I would say that this game is a solid 7.5 out of 10. A lot of people will want to pick it up and enjoy it for a good amount of time, but it gets old really quick. A lot of the score streaks aren't powerful enough. Besides the nuke, the nuke doesn't even count because that only works. It's like an attachment. and It's a button that you press on the gun, makes things explode. It doesn't even count as a score streak. I don't know why they didn't put in a score streak. Whatever, I digress. But it is definitely a game a lot of people of all ages can pick up real quick and play. Besides the fact that Call of Duty is a pick up and play game, regardless, it is a quick game that anybody can enjoy. A lot of bright colors, a lot of things that pretty much anyone of all family can enjoy. Really easy, really simple, and a lot of fun to play. But again, not worth what it is, not worth all of the money that people are spending into it, and most of the majority is coming from that Infinite Warfare, re not the Infinite Warfare, Modern Warfare Remastered digital deluxe thing so like i said 7.5 for an unbiased opinion my biased opinion would be a six end of the day not worth 60 dollars so if you're thinking about getting it and you're thinking about what you're doing with it and you're thinking about what if you should get it or not i would not get this game now you can get it you have absolutely all the right in the world to get this game but i personally would not buy this game at all it's going to be old really quick there's going to be, they would be spitting out supply drops spitting out new weapons just to keep the game flowing i just want to wait till the next call of duty to hopefully we get some boots on the ground if you guys enjoy oh wait well, before i end this i wanted to say that uh infinity ward and all those guys did not pay me any money to give the goods and bads of this game because i know a lot of people are going to want to flag me for this i did not get paid this is my opinion the game it comes out in three days get over yourself so like i said i hope you guys enjoy and if you have any questions or opinions about my what i said here today and you have any problems with what i said please make sure to type in the comments i want to hear all of your feedback so we can all grow together and hopefully we can start a discussion who really knows this is going to be the next big call of duty of 2017 and hopefully we can start with a bang if you guys enjoy as always drop a like and subscribe i will see you guys in the next whatever i make so have a great day i'm out